many players would you say the team is actually considering for it? Well, Nicole, we've heard general manager John Dorsey say they're looking at four players. But look, in covering this league for, for several years, if the team doesn't know by now who they're taking first overall, they're in deep trouble. They know the player that they're taking. It's probably going to be Texas A&M left tackle, Luke Jokel. We've also heard Central Michigan left tackle, Eric Fisher as a possibility. Now, the other three players they may have on their depth chart or who they're looking at, or maybe in case they move down a little bit in the draft. But again, I've covered the league too many times where teams who have the first, second, and third pick, they almost always know by now the player who they're taking off the board. Steve, it seems as if they are going to sit at that spot, but what have you heard about them possibly trying to trade down? Any takers? Yeah, I don't think they're aggressively shopping. It, it, is, it is a price. It is a hefty, hefty price tag, ED. Now, if somebody wants to move up, I am sure they'll be willing to move down because there are comparable players if they move down number five, number six, you know, for what they want to pick. But just think about it last year. The St. Louis Rams and Washington Redskins, for Washington to get that second overall pick from St. Louis, they gave up two first-rounders. They exchanged placements in the first round with the Rams and gave up a second-rounder. That was for the number two pick. The Chiefs hold the number one pick. That is a hefty, hefty bounty for a team to move up to number one. Listen, Brandon Albert, he's getting nine-plus million dollars as a franchise player. He says he's a left tackle and only a left tackle. How will that impact their draft plans? Well, it, it absolutely could. First off, I don't think, you know, they're sitting here saying, well, we can't draft a left tackle because we have Brandon Albert here under the franchise tag. However, we have heard conversations. The Chiefs have granted the Dolphins permission to speak to Albert's agents about a possible trade. So there could be something in the works. may not happen until draft night. But if they trade Brandon Albert, then that pretty much tips their hand that they will draft a left tackle to replace him. Even if they don't trade him, I still suspect uh, Kansas City to take a left tackle and work out those issues either way. Now, keep in mind, if they do trade Brandon Albert, that $9.8 million on the franchise tag, that comes off the cap. That's cleared cap space right there. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But the fact they're talking trade with the Dolphins means that's obviously on the table.